Hello everyone, we are group two from Project Jet Access 24. Our supervisors are Dr. Matthew Pucci and Lin Qi. Our topic is Forex price forecasting with feature importance recap and model stacking. Next, our presentation contains seven sections. Deep learning has been widely used in modern quantitative trading and numerous research have been made. Our motivation is to build a deep learning model which can improve the performance of forex price prediction to help investors to make decisions. The main purpose of this project is to predict the maximum price in the next five time steps. We have two novelty here to help improve the model performance. The first one is feature importance recap, which is a method to pick up the most important input features in a deep learning models. The second one is stacking, which can combine several models together and improve the performance to a new level. Next. Before we started the project, we reviewed plenty of papers and the following literature was particularly helpful to us. Sinkovich's study showed that using technical indicators as features can improve the modern performance. And he also found the number of the past timestamps used in the model have a huge influence on the model performance. Chen is the first person to propose the deep learning models have a better be effect than traditional machinery models in solving nonlinear financial data. One concluded that the ensemble learning can improve the prediction accuracy, which is also the reason why we finally adopted Stack. Lin and Dr. Kuchi's papers inspired us a lot and let us know the importance of feature engineering construction. Next. LSTM is a special type of RNN. Unlike traditional RNN, LSTM has the ability to remove or add information to the circular state through carefully designed structures called GET. The, to sum up, LSTM can retain important features through three gets to ensure that it will not be lost during the long-term transmission. GRU is based on the change of LSTM, which combines the forget get and the input get into a single update get. The final model is simpler than the standard LSTM model. And the GRU can save a lot of time in the case of large training data. Next. We first extract data from Oenda, which is a global data set providing forex and stock trading information to everyone. The data ranges from June of 2014 to June of 2021. We mainly use two data sets, AUSD USD and EUR USD. The interval of time steps is 15 minutes. Here are two candlestick charts of these two data sets and the visualizations of some technical indicators. We generate technical indicators from package TA lib by using OHSC data. We use four kinds of indicators, overlap studies, momentum, price transform, and the volatility. We totally calculate and pick up 71 indicators. Next page. ARIMA is a statistic model which widely used in time series prediction. We use the AIC, short of a CAX information criterion method to select the parameters of ARIMA. As shown in its plot, ARIMA ha may have the problem of lagging, which means that target values are lagged from the previous periods. So we take the ARIMA prediction results as an input feature of models rather than directly as the prediction result. We use the highest high price as our prediction result since we think highest high has more investment value. The formula is how to calculate the highest high by traversing the high price of the next five time steps. We can pick up the maximum high price as the label of the current time step. Next. We divide our data set into three parts, trend validation and the test. 
The training set is from June of 2014 of May to the May of the 2019. The validation set is from June of 2019 to May of June of 2020. Finally, the text set is from June of 2020 to the May of 2021. Next. Uh, for DNN model, it is hard to distinguish the importance of each feature. But in machine learning models, we have mature functions to calculate the feature importance. So we decided to combine this feature importance results with DNN model performance and propose a feature selection approach for financial data. We call it feature importance recap. The process includes three steps. In the first step, we create a supervised data frame from training data set and split into new training and testing data. Each row contains all the data of last five time stamps. Then we calculate the feature importance score using three tree-based machine learning models, XGBoost, LightGBM, and Random Forest. Here is a sample output. The timestamp T to T minus four is included in the feature names. Then we will use the selected features as input to the same deep, machine, deep learning model and compute the RMC. In our project, we use LSTM and GRU. Now we have the feature importance score and RMSC. In the last step, we will first scale the feature importance score with min-max better and then divide it by the RMSC score so that the score can also represent the performance from DN model. Then we sum the score of each feature and get the final important score. Here is the result of our feature important score recap. The currency is AUD USD. From the graph, we can see that using all features as input has the highest RMSE. Simply applying the feature importance result from tree-based models would slightly increase the performance, but the RMSE is still too high. After applying our approach, the performance is significantly improved. With the ISTM, we got the lowest RMIC at eight times 10 to the power of negative four using top 20 selected features. And for GRU, with, for AUD and USD, the performance is also improved to 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative four with also top 20 selected features. We then tested our approach on URUSD. With the LSTM, the lowest RMC is about 7.8 to the times 10 to the power of negative four with top, 20, top 30 selected features. And with the GRU, the lowest RMC is around 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of negative four with 20 selected features. After the feature importance recap, which is the suitable features to include into the deep learning models, to get the prediction. The two deep learning models, including large amount of memory and the GRU, both have good performance, but we can still improve the model's performance by using stacking. Stacking can combine several models together and possibly it can improve the model's performance. In our project, we predicted the highest high price with five different models, including XGBoost, GBM, Random Forest, large amount of memory and the GRU. By using stacking, we want to improve the model's performance to a new level. And here we use a neural network with 32 neurons as the stacking system. Uh, next page, please. Uh, we use the predicted result of the five models to form a data frame, which have five columns corresponding to these five models results. Then we use part of the data frame to train the model, part of the data frame to do the model evaluation. So this data frame can be split into three parts. The first part is from June of uh, 2020 to October of 2020 as a training set. The test, the data, uh, the validation set, which is used for parameter tuning, lasts for two months. And the test set uh, ranges from January of 2021 to April 2021. The test set is used for getting the model performance, including the RMSE and the MAE. Next page, please. Uh, and since we have five candidate models to include into the stacking system, we can choose any two of them or three of them as the input features of the stacking system. Or we can directly 
use one single model to form these five models as the final model. So it is a combination problem, and there are 31 possible combinations here. By comparing the RMSE of these 31 possibilities, we can choose the model with the smallest RMSE as the final stacking system. Next page, please. As shown in the graph of AUD USD, the stacking system, which uses XBoot, Longshot, uh, Light GVM, and the GIO, has the smallest RMSE. So we use these three models as the final input features of the stacking system. And it shows that the stacking system improves the model's performance from the single best one, GIO, 7.5 multiplied by 10 to the power, power of minus 4 to the stacking one, 6.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 4. So, so the stacking system works. Uh, next page, please. <clears throat> For the EURUSD, the performance of 31 stacking combinations are shown in this graph. The stacking system used uh, random forest, long shot memory, and GIO has a smallest RMSE overall. The stacking system uh, of this RMSE is 7.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 4, which is much better than the single best one, the long shot memory. It's 7.94 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 4. So we finally use uh, random forest, long shot memory, and GIO in the first layer of the stacking system. Next page, please. In these parts, we will make discussions and evaluations of the NCR project's work. In this project, our group has developed a novel system to predict the highest high prices of currency pairs, which is a combination of a feature selection approach and a model stacking approach. We apply our approaches on AUD USD and EUR USD pairs. Both achieved remarkable results, which prove that our system is successful. The feature selection approach shows that although we initially had more than 70 technical analysis indicators as features, the important indicators selected by different models are overlapping with each other to a large extent. If a feature is determined to be a vital feature by one model, it is usually very likely to be selected as an important feature by another model. The stacking approach is making combinations in a range of machine learning and deep learning technologies. Since it has learned the advantages from different models, the stacked model is outperforming any single model. Under the main framework of our forecasting system, we also developed another technology to improve model performance. For example, introducing ARIMA as a feature. ARIMA is a traditional statistical model used for time series forecasting. Compared to deep learning models, it has stronger interpretability in statistics and mathematics. However, in this project, instead of directly using ARIMA for prediction, we introduced the one-step-ahead forecasting results obtained from ARIMA as a feature, in addition to other technical analysis indicators. This method proved to be successful because in the feature selection approach, it was selected as one of the vital features for the final prediction. Next, please. In conclusion, the experiment results show that the two approaches we proposed could significantly improve the model performance. However, these two approaches require very long training time and it needs to run the training process many times. If we are using a very large data set, the computing time would be even longer. If you try to opt optimize our approach and solve this problem, in the future, we will try to add the attention mechanism while selecting the features so that for each input row, we can distinguish which feature in the specific past timestamp contributes most towards the target and give it a higher weight. For stacking, we only used five models. In the future, we can add more advanced models that have 
good performance and further improve the results. Mm -hmm. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for listening.